the astral body. Our emotions, both negative and positive, have an impact on the people around us. That's because they are stored in our astral body and live there as long as we focus on them, whether we express them in spoken word or not. That's why people who carry around hatreds or resentments can often cause pain in other people, not just themselves, just by their mere presence. Energy healers can feel and sometimes pick up other people's thought forms and emotions via the astral plane. Keeping your own astral body clear from negativity can be a challenge. Some clairvoyants can see the colors in the aura that indicate the dominant emotions in the astral body. Psychic medical diagnosticians can even spot holes and tears in the astral body that indicate significant damage has been done to that system, either through pain or trauma. The astral body is like a bubble of light that protects us when we are traveling in the astral plane, during sleep or out-of-body experience. Everyone does this every night at some point, but not everyone realizes they are doing it. If you are a lucid dreamer, someone who is aware they are dreaming when they are in their dream state, you will know that you do indeed have an astral body because otherwise you wouldn't be able to travel around in your dreams with your physical body, which you would know is asleep in your bed. If you were awake and a psychic saw your aura, it might also include brown and putrid green colors indicating disease or discomfort in the body. Tears and holes in the aura can weaken the astral body by providing an entry point to discordant entities, thought forms, and other negative attachments that make the person susceptible to negative behaviors or easily influenced by others. A strong, healthy astral body provides a sufficient barrier to outside influence through straying opportunistic thought forms and negative entities. If other people's thought forms are able to attach to our astral body, they will affect the mental and physical body, causing more than just physical pain. If at some point you feel that your astral body has gotten polluted by discarded thought forms or entities, you can clear the space by smudging. Smudging is an ancient practice that uses a sage bundle that is lit and then blown out, leaving only the smoking leaves as a sort of incense. Take the smoldering bundle to each corner of your room and in the middle and let the smoke permeate the space. The fragrance is delightful, but it also wards off unwanted entities and thought forms. If you become more sensitive, you will be able to sense thought forms in your vicinity or astral body. Or, if you find you have a talent for astral projection, you will literally see them as images in your dreams that you might even think are real. However, you don't have to sense them or see them to dissolve them. To dissolve a thought form that is intruding on your astral body, direct a hot, bright, golden light from your heart chakra center, which can be done while you are awake or in your dreams. This divine high-frequency energy will either dissolve the negativity or will make it uncomfortable in your astral body. However, it doesn't mean that the thought form might not return particularly if the person creating it is dealing with some unresolved issue.